Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this makeup tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this glamorous cut crease tutorial. And in this video, I will be using all Jade Cosmetics makeup products. So hopefully by the end of this video, you can learn how to do this on your own eyes as well. So the first thing you want to do is take a eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Jade Cosmetics Essentials Eyelid Primer and I'm going to apply a few dots on the eyelid and then blend it all over my eyelid. What a primer does, it removes the redness from the eyelid. It will make sure that your eyeshadow is going to stay more longer in place and it's going to make the eyeshadows look more pigmented. So never skip this part. So now I'm going to go in with this gorgeous flare palette which has some neutral shades, some bronzy shades, super pretty and i'm gonna go in with this kind of like a reddish burgundy color and start blending this all the way like in my crease area when i'm going like in the area where i'm blending right now i'm blending it up a little bit higher towards my brow because i'm gonna create quite a high crease effect in today's video which is gonna give the appearance that your eyelid is a lot bigger than it actually is that's what I personally really like when it comes to a cut crease. You create the illusion that your eyelid is a different shape, which I think is super cool. You create a lot more eyelid space, so also more space for your eyeshadows that you want to apply on your eyelid. So first I applied that shade in the crease, and now I'm focusing more at the outer part of the eyelid, kind of creating a winged shape that kind of goes like in a triangle at the outer portion. Um, this gives a really nice flary effect, which I personally really like. So now I'm going in with this dark brown color and I'm going to take a super tiny brush and apply this right in my crease area. Or at least not my natural crease line, but the line where I want my crease to be, to kind of create that fake crease effect. Now the reason I'm using a very tiny brush is to work really precise in that area and I just want to create more depth by using a darker shade and this kind of creates a shadowy darker effect. So I'm just following the same line as I just did with the previous color. Again creating that kind of flare effect, that winked effect at the outer end of the eyelid. And just take your time with this. Um, don't focus too much on the eyeshadow that is below this line because we're going to cover that up with some concealer. But just make sure that the outer edges of where you're blending this looks really softly blended. So now I'm going in with this concealer which is the Jade Cosmetics Extreme Cover Concealer and I'm using it in the shade 17 Ivory. So I'm going to take a flat concealer brush and create a line right underneath where I created that cut crease effect. So this is going to make it look super sharp and I always personally really like to take my time with this because this I feel like is one of the most important steps when it comes to creating a cut crease. If you make sure that this looks super sharp, you can't really go wrong anymore afterwards. Um, so just take your time with this, just apply a tiny bit and just work with that. If you need more product, you can always add more of that concealer on your brush, um, but just take it slow. So I'm kind of creating that round effect quite up high towards my brow and then at the outer portion I don't want to drag it all the way down um, but just kind of filling up the eyelid adding a little bit more product and like sweeping everything so everything looks nicely covered and I still kind of want that winked effect at the outer portion so I created that with the concealer as well. So now added a little bit more of that reddish burgundy color and just made sure that it looks even more nicely blended out. You can always go back in with the reddish shade or with the brown shade just to make it look better. So now I'm going in with this super light shimmery color and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. Um, so that's what is really nice because we use the concealer which kind of creates like a light base all over the eyelid which also helps to make this color stand out more. So I'm just packing this all over where I applied the concealer. You can also make your brush wet. I did that. Um, this will intensify the eyeshadow a little bit and make it more shimmery. This is a super cool trick that you can do with any eyeshadow. By making your brush wet, it just intensifies the eyeshadows. So now next I'm going in with this golden coppery color and I'm going to apply this on the outer portion of the eyelid. So kind of into that winked shape. So just filling that up with this beautiful color 
Um, I wanted to first keep it with the light shade only, but I feel like this makes it look so much more pretty. So now for the next step, I'm going to take this eye pencil, which is called the Jade Cosmetics Eyeliner in Intense Black. The color is 300. And I'm going to use this to create a line above the lash line. I'm not working super precise, just creating a simple line above the lash line. And then again, taking that dark brown color and I'm going to use this to smudge out the eyeliner. You could also go in with a liquid liner if you prefer, but I wanted to do more like a smudgy eyeliner effect to keep it more soft and blend it out, just like we did with the crease area. I feel like this gives more of a softer finish, which I really like. And besides that, it's also easier. So if you're a beginner in makeup and you maybe struggle with creating like a wing liner or applying eyeliner in general, this is a lot easier because you don't have to apply the eyeliner pencil too precise. Just create a line and do the smudging with the eyeshadow and that will kind of do the work for you because you want it to look smudgy. So you don't really have to be focused on making it look really precise. So now I'm taking a little bit more of the concealer that I used earlier for the eyelid. I used a very tiny amount right underneath the eyelid to make it look more sharp. And this will just make everything look so much more clean. Then taking that pencil again, which we just used for the eyelids. And now using it in the wad line, um, I wanted to create the lower lash line a bit more smoky since we did kind of light colors on the eyelids. I just wanted to make this whole look a little bit more smoky glamorous. So now for underneath the lower lash line, I'm going back in with the dark brown color that comes in the flower palette. And I'm going to use this right underneath the lower lash line. Just sweeping my brush back and forth and kind of pressing the product underneath the lower lash line. What I also like to do is apply a little bit on top of the wad line. So the eyeshadow really connects with the pencil in the wad line. And you will see no skin like in between the eyeshadow and the eye pencil in the wad line. So now again going in with that reddish color and using this to blend out the lower lash line. Just sweeping my brush back and forth and just applying a little bit more and more. Um, I'm just... Making sure that that dark brown color looks a little bit more softer, blended out with this reddish color. And since I used the same colors in my crease, everything looks now really nicely together. So I quickly curled my lashes and now it's time for mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Jade Cosmetics High Lash Lengthening and Lifting Mascara, which is a really nice mascara. It goes from like a bigger wand to more of like a tinier tip which I personally really like when it comes to mascaras. So I'm just gonna jiggle this into my lashes. Um, I'm gonna try to make them look as glamorous as possible. Now you could either leave it like this and only use mascara, but if you want, of course, you can also apply some false lashes, will, which will just make this eye look a lot more glamorous. So I quickly applied some lashes and then here you have the finished result of the eyes. I really hope you all like how it turned out. Um, so if you wanna keep watching, I'm also gonna show you how I finished off the rest of my face. So I went in with the Jade Cosmetics Everlasting Lip Liner in the color 83 Plummy. And I'm gonna use this to align my lips. I am going for kind of like a lip combination that matches really nicely with the eyeshadows I used today. Um, it's kind of like a soft mauve effect on the lips, which just goes really well with the eyes. So the liquid lipstick I'm gonna use is the, let me check what the name is, Petal Velvet 725 Idyllic. That's the color of this liquid lipstick super pretty so when you apply it it's liquidy but it will dry into a matte finish super pretty so now i'm gonna go in with the blush and highlighter trio which is the selfie number two such a beautiful pinky rose color so i'm just gonna use a mixture of all three colors and blend this on the apples of my cheeks again the color of the blush goes really well together with the rest of the face makeup um, i just really like how everything looks so now I'm going to go in with this highlighter palette, which is the Everglow Highlighter Palette by Jade Cosmetics. I'm applying this on the highest points of my cheeks, just to add a little bit of a glow to this whole makeup look, which is perfect for the holidays, to add a little bit more glam to my face. 
And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. And let us know in the comments if you are going to try out this makeup look as well. If you want to purchase any of the Jade Cosmetics products, I will link everything down in the description bar. And yes, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone! Even if you try, you wouldn't